Hi, and this is Max at Joker's Comedy Club with this week's special event headliner, Jake Johansson. Hey. <laughs> I'm excited. I got okay, an we unusual room. Is that are you secluded in your basement there? Or? Well, this is my this is my office. It's kind of a man, I say a man cave. I do it, I do a Facebook show, and so this is just all my souvenirs and stuff from uh, years yeah. gone by. Good background. So to start off now, I know that when I when I put, uh, we have a special event, uh, I put that you'd been on uh, Letterman like 45 or 46 times. I say 45. I think it's 46 times, but uh, I, I I mean, I'm pretty sure it's 46. Oh, so that's thought, pretty much, you mainly do, mainly do comedy. You don't do a lot of, uh, you don't do TV, movies, things. You're just, you know, mainly. No, I've done a few, I've done a few movies in the past and I've had pilots for my own show a few times, but you have to be, the show's got to be good and you have to be lucky at the same time. So when the show was good, I was not lucky. And when I was lucky, the show was maybe not so great. So I never did get my own TV show. I've made most of my uh, <clears throat> career on the road doing shows at uh, clubs and colleges and theaters and oh, those festivals, those type of things. I remember watch, watch one, I think it was Letterman and, and your, your delivery was so great. I mean, it's all I can see where you could probably do acting because uh, that was uh, the, your your uh, emotions and attitude went perfect with the material and uh, it's just a, well I yeah I I feel like it's sort of my my style on stage grew grew out of who I am off stage and also the fact that when I first started I was kind of nervous and so I just sort of went with that and mm -hmm. uh, it turns out I think that that's the thing that people can relate to this idea that. I, I'm I know what I want to talk about, but I've got to get through it, you know, so I'm just working through it. And so I think I bring the audience a little bit on that uh, kind of wavelength when I do the show. But uh -huh. uh, we'll see. We'll how, what, how do you ever get into that? What, what kind of a crazy childhood did you have that was <laughs> make you? Want well, to I don't, you know, I, I guess. I wasn't I wasn't really the typical class clown. I, I mean, and I grew up in the Midwest. I mean, we spent a little time in Tennessee, but most of my childhood was in Wisconsin. And I was born in Iowa. And that's where I went to college in Iowa. And I met a guy who said he was a comedian in Chicago back. This was back before the Internet and everything. So you couldn't really check on that kind of stuff. But he said he was going to San Francisco because that's where Robin Williams started. He, uh, he had a newspaper clipping where he knew the club that Robin Williams started, which was the Holy City Zoo. And so that's why he said, I'm going to San Francisco. I'm going to go on at the Holy City Zoo. That's where Robin Williams started. And I had been in a play with this guy and he was funny and we were working at the same restaurant. And I was at a point in college where I was kind of not enjoying it that much. And I decided I was going to go with him. Not a popular decision with my <laughs> parents, but uh I moved out there just not really knowing what I was doing and not really knowing the kind of risk that I was taking. I mean, when you're 21 years old, you can make a lot of mistakes and still recover from those. And mm -hmm. this one turned out to not be a mistake, but that was just lucky. It was uh, lucky that I did a dumb thing and it worked out for me. Huh, crazy. Yeah. So uh, we're looking forward to the show. And have you ever been to the Tri-Cities before? Richland? You know, I think I've been out there to do a show in a bar. I don't even know how long ago that that was. Mm -hmm. And I remember the thing I remember about Richland and I checked on this on the Internet is the high school's team has the mushroom cloud. Is there do they yeah. still have that? Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I, re, I really need to get a, a sweatshirt with the mushroom cloud on it. <laughs> and uh, I, that's that's my that's on my big to do list while I'm there, in addition to the comedy shows. But so I've only been there the one time. So I'm really looking forward to seeing it. I, I mean, Washington State is beautiful. I've been to Washington State many times. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, we use that as a, the high school is right across the street. And we use that as a background once a friend and I were doing a, a show in Spokane. And so we took a shot of that and I put down a uh, what do we call it? The uh, Atomic Comics. When we bomb, nobody gets hurt. And we had the big <laughs> cloud behind us. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Sounds and good. it turned out to well, be true. Oh, <laughs> Hopefully there's not going to be any bombing. I'm, I'm hoping there's not going to be any bombing. No bombing. So great. And folks, you don't want to miss this special event. Jake Johansson, Tri-Cities, Saturday and Friday, 730. Remember, at Jokers, we sell fun. Yeah, we, yeah, I sell fun.
I'm in the fun <laughs> business. <laughs>